what I'd like to talk to you today about uncommon favor. There's favor, that divine favor, also known as uncommon favor that comes from the Almighty God. It has nothing to do with you. It has nothing to do with how you look. It has nothing to do with what you say. It is God that placed you in favor. We see this in the book of Daniel where God says that he caused Daniel and the Hebrew children to come into, into love and to favor with the head of Nebuchadnezzar, a head that was placed over them. We also see this with Joseph. That when Joseph was in prison, it says that God caused Joseph to find favor with the prison guard. Even when the book of Esther, though there were many beautiful virgins that stood before the king, it was God Almighty, not Esther Beauty, that caused the king, Ahasuerus, to choose Esther. That is what you call uncommon favor or divinely inspired favor. It is given by the Spirit of God when God moves you in favor with God and with man. It's normally the people of God or those who are serving God in spirit and in truth who rest their life in God's hand that God will bring into favor with God and with man because of the destiny that he's placed upon their lives to bring glory to his name and to his kingdom. So people of God, I am saying to you today, and then also there are demonic personalities and satanic personalities that will try to minister this favor in your life. There are demonic spirits at work that will try to bring you out of favor with leadership. We also see this in the book of Daniel. The king, king Darius thought to promote Daniel over everybody in over 120 provinces and the other wise men became jealous and envious of Daniel and they decided to do a plan to kill Daniel or cause the king to lose favor when it comes to Daniel. But people of God, I like to say that God will destroy every lion or every obstacle or every evil satanic personality that's coming up against you because God has placed you in favor. So you should see God that he will give you uncommon favor. There are certain things in our lives that will cause faith, this favor to follow us and rejection. Watch your association. Some people will minister this favor in your life by association. There's also inheritance, ancestral, fav um, disfavor, and rejection that will follow you through your bloodline. You need to pray and rebuke them from you. Now, there is a prayer that goes along with this teaching called the prayer of uncommon favor. Jabez understood this. He said one prayer, he said, oh Lord, that you will bless me and increase my territory. And the Bible said that God heard his prayer. So you should pray today that God will perfume your life with the rumor of the Lord Jesus Christ, that he will cause divine favor and uncommon favor that only comes from the Spirit of God to rest upon your life, that God will place you in favor with God and with man. People of God, you are looking to yourself to find favor through your knowledge, through your education, through your looks, through your personality, all your character. You are dependent on the Almighty God for divine favor to rest upon you so when you step out you are under the anointing and the anointing of God draws people to you and not you yourself. It's for God's glory people of God. When you come into divine favor with God and with man it's for the glory and the kingdom of God. So I ask you to look at that prayer. Of course you know it's a dry locker and our prayer of uncommon favor to rest upon your life this day. God bless you.